Thank you very much for that, Byron. And again, as Byron said, the second annual of Making Movies Carnival is happening on Saturday coming up. They have been gracious enough to join us in studio, and we are so happy to have them every single time you guys come in. Thank you so much for joining us. Well, thank you for having us. We're happy to be here. Absolutely. Okay, so Carnival, can I just tell you how exciting this event is? <laughs> like, and I know you already know because it's a, it's a pretty big deal, and every year it seems you guys add more and more to it. So this year we have Hooray for the Riff Raff joining you. We've also got Las Cafeteras, um, we've got Migrant Kids, Gio Chamba, um, also Kansas City's own Hearts of Darkness, and then of course you guys making movies. And so there's kind of a different array of bands. You've got Kansas City bands, but also bands from around the country. And we'll talk more about those coming up in just a little bit. But first, I do want to, um, for people who haven't maybe heard your story before or who aren't familiar with you, I think your background has, um, it speaks a lot to the event. And so if you could just tell us, please Enrique, a little bit about making movies. Yeah, uh, we were formed about six years ago. My brother and I's family moved from Panama to Kansas City when we were young and we grew up here and we feel like Kansas City people as much as we feel like, like we're from Panama. And, and uh, we linked up with Brendan, our drummer who's from here in Kansas City, and then we met Juan Carlos whose family is, a, is actually a pretty respected Mexican family in the community. They do a bunch of stuff with the arts and they have a restaurant. And when we formed the band, we realized that there are some common threads. We, we, we realized it watching his family's dance group. We're like, wow, that, that dance looks just like a Panamanian dance. And, and it's like, I imagine when these things were invented, they couldn't tweet each other. I think there's just some beautiful <laughs> like human nature thing where we, we kind of end up with similar solutions when we're posed with questions, you know? And, uh, and so the band really tries to live in that space, in the space where the music from our culture and the music that I grew up here just immersed in, I guess, what would be called indie rock of, you know, the early 2000s and all that as a kid growing up, um, all that kind of mixed up together into the music that we create. And so it's neither a rock and roll band, it's not a Latino band, and it's, it's, it's none of those things and all of those things at once. That's beautiful. Well, and also now you have... Um, you have a new addition. And so uh, for those who aren't aware, we've got Enrique and Diego brothers, and then Juan Carlos, and then of course, Brendan on the drums, who's Kansas City, right? Yeah. Um, and then also now we have Colleen. Yeah, we have Colleen, who's uh, joining us on violin. And she has been a, a longtime collaborator. Diego has known Colleen since they were in, like early in high school. And um, so on, on our last album, she played on a couple songs, and she's played numerous shows with us. Um, but now it's becoming more and more songs, and so she'll be there the whole set at Carnaval. We're really excited about it. Well, in that case, can we maybe hear some music, get a quick preview? Yeah, this is a song called Ego Trip. This song's uh, from our album A La Deriva. It's a little older, but we gave it a new spin tonight.
good. So good. And if you are just joining us, we've got Making Movies in the studio, Kansas City's own Making Movies, who have got their second annual carnival happening down at Knuckleheads this Saturday night. A host of amazing talent out there. And it's also a carnival, which uh, we're going to be talking more about as well. Um, you know, <laughs> if there an award, was an award for local artists who are incredibly talented, who could also, um, who are just really well known for giving back to the community, I think that you guys would win that award and I, I mean you're just so well known in the community for all that you do for the community and relatively recently as well in, in addition to everything that you do you also I've noticed Enrique have started speaking to the audience about different social issues going on I mean what what drove that change well I think that um, it's it's been an interesting time in our country the last couple of years and there's been issues that have been present for a long time but they're bubbling up more so and and I think the more we travel it's kind of one of the benefits of being an artist is you see other communities and you see the good and the bad in them. So we saw like com in communities in Texas had um, already a bigger infrastructure for for arts programs, inner city programs that reach out specifically to Latinos and Latino youth. And we thought, well, you know, there's nothing like that in Kansas City. And instead of griping about it, which we might have done for six months, we were like, ah, there's nothing like that in Kansas City. See, Kansas City is slow. Then we thought, well, we shouldn't complain. We should just do it. So we started doing that stuff, and and I think that as the more we, the more we did community work, the more we learned the value of it. It kind of fed itself. It was like self-perpetuating. We saw the good that it can do, and and the then we saw the needs that were bigger than what we could tackle. So then we're like, well, we we should at least voice these needs. You know, we can do with the things that we know how to do. We we know how to teach music and play music and and throw these little events. But um, there's more to be done, and so that that spurred the inspiration to talk about bigger issues as well. well. I think it's beautiful. And I mean, that really also feeds into uh, the Musica Project, which is a, it's an acronym. So could you talk a little bit about the Musica Project? Yeah, it's, the idea is it's a uh, kind of a collective of musicians that have coalesced towards, towards um, doing something community oriented. So there's a, a, a crew of talented music educators that we work with to run a music camp every year. We partner with the Maddie Rhodes Center and we host a music camp and then we host after school programs with them. Well, we've partnered with other people. We uh, hosted a songwriting session here at the bridge um, and gave, and Sarah, you were you know, helpful in help, giving us a space to invite kids in to, um, to talk about songwriting. And that's actually, you know, the Carnaval is giving us an, a, n a new window to um, expose kids to, to a bigger outlet. You know, Hooray for the Riff Raff is an artist that is, uh, you know, as far as the, her artistic journey, she's a few steps ahead of where we are and she's light years ahead of where a young songwriter would be. And she is, in my opinion, um, one of the most talented songwriters in the U.S. right now. And she's going to talk to the youth about songwriting on Saturday. Uh, before the festival starts at Knuckleheads, we're going to set up a kind of a mini forum. And in, we've invited these talented young songwriters. We're going to let Alinda from Hooray for the Riff Raff um, give kind of a, a, a workshop about what she has learned about songwriting. You know, I think that's also a really interesting point because Alinda, you know, Hooray for the Riff Raff worldwide acclaim, nationally renowned artist. Uh, how did you all get involved with Linda? Somebody at her record label, she's on a label called ATO Records, um, likes our band. <laughs> nice. And gave her <laughs> That's a, the best way. Yeah, gave her some music, and she needed somebody to open up some shows. And so we showed up, sight unseen. You know, she'd never met us, but she liked the music, and we played with her in Chicago. And we hit it off, and two or three days later, we're hopping on stage with her, for her songs and then we started talking about collaborating on music i told her about this event and she had just gotten turned on to las cafeteras who were booked for it um and she's like oh i want to just come can i come it's like well yeah of course you know <laughs> i mean this is an artist that plays bonnaroo and she's right. going to come play making movies carnaval which in the level of festivals is a much smaller thing than bonnaroo or coachella and all these other things she's done she's doing this year well, and to be fair, and I know that you guys are all, you're also very humble, but uh, making movies, you are our own, and we claim you very we we, we claim you very much. But um, you have you just recently signed to a national label. Yeah, we did. Think we've been grateful to do that, and we we finished recording our second album. Now it's time to get it mixed and and put into figure out how to put it into the world. Can you talk at all about potential collaboration? Uh, yeah, there are some okay. potential collaborations. I know that there's, there definitely will be music with us and Hooray for the Riff Raff collaborating in the future. And there's some other pretty fun collaborations on the album. I'll keep those a, a surprise. Nice. Okay, thanks. Thanks, Enrique. Can we get some more music? Yeah, we decided, um, you know, we've been here for a while and, and you've heard our, our album for a while. So we're going to do a song that is, uh, 
it's a song that I guess was born in Panama. The guys from Fania Records in New York City, they, they went to Panama and they heard an accordion player play this riff. They were on tour. They're already international stars. And, and they grabbed the riff and made a song called La Murga de Panama. And it became a worldwide hit. And Panamanians claim it as their own, but it's not their own. It's two Puerto Rican guys in New York City <laughs> who made this song that's like basically the second national anthem for, Pan for Panama. So it's a New York song, it's a Puerto Rican song, it's a Panamanian song, and today it's a Kansas City song. Perfect for making movies. Yeah, perfect for us. That's exactly <laughs> the, how we look at music. So.
All right, so that's just a uh, a taste of what you're going to experience out at Making Movies Carnival this weekend on this on Saturday out at Knuckleheads. There are going to be six other well six bands total out there now we've talked about hooray for the riffraff we've talked about um you guys of course and then kansas city's own hearts of darkness as well going to be out there but can you give us a little bit more uh info a little bit more background about like gio chamba and uh, las cafeteras you mentioned them in reference to hooray for the riffraff las cafeteras are a band from east l.a and they um they started out by playing they're called they're playing in a cafe you know so that's why they got their band name and they were kind of re revitalizing the old mexican folkloric music so they play only folkloric instruments like a harana, which are little guitars that look kind of like ukuleles, but they're tuned and stringed differently. And they, they play those guitars in a marimba. Um, and they also play a cajon. So all percussion and guitars, it's a big band and it turns into quite a party show. So they grab this, this music that was, I think, you know, uh, Mexican American youth thinks it's music of their grandparents and they've like re-energized it with their own flavor. And they're also an inspiration. They do a ton of community work. Um, they do educative work, and and they have that same. They're like-minded. They're in the same wavelength that they realize that music can be a powerful tool in a community, and so we're just stoked to have them here. Awesome. Well, and you saw you talked about folkloric music. So there are also going to be, in addition to the bands, there are going to be a bunch of other things. It's a family-friendly event, so families are invited out to Carnival this weekend. But uh, ballet flo- uh, folklorico. Ah, can you? Yeah, explain you said it correct. Oh, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> thanks. So yeah, Juan Carlos's family has uh, done Ballet Folclorico for years, which is a Mexican uh, folkloric dance style. And so there's going to be uh, young Ballet Folclorico dancers doing a, a show for us too. And so all of that ties together. And, and our band brings it into the set, and so does La Cafetera. So it's kind of a, a nice full circle for for that stuff too. And if you've never seen that, that's another reason to come out this weekend because man, we get to see Juan Carlos do it every time you know you guys play a show and it's really something. Thank you. It's pretty fantastic. Uh, all right, so in addition to that, um, this weekend, there are also going to be, uh, talk about some of the other things though. There are a lot of other things going on in relation. I mean, it's a carnival and so ch- kids are not usually allowed down at Knuckleheads, right? And so that's another thing to be aware of. Yeah, they're closing off the street and so it's not, it, it'll feel a little less like a bar and more like a street fair. So closing off the street, we have food trucks, we have like little carnival games for students, face or for kids, uh, face painting. There'll be young performers. So some of these songwriters that are attending the session have been selected to perform on a small stage by the food trucks. And then Brandon Draper, who's a very talented uh, percussionist and educator, is doing something called a drum safari. This is interactive like drum uh, and percussion experience. So that's like for, for kids, so they don't get bored if they don't wanna watch bands anymore. They can go and, and a couple times throughout the day, they can participate in this, this little drum safari. So it's a full-fledged family event. That's part of the motive too. There's not that many um, events in Kansas City where you can go see great bands and also feel comfortable bringing your family. Well, and you had, you had talked about Fania Records before you guys played that song. I mean, and that's another thing. You guys had done that tribute to Fania, like bringing that um, that awareness of just the, you know, the Latino vibe, you know, like bringing it alive in Kansas City. Another way that you did that was through that Fania Records event, right? Yeah, yeah. We did a, a benefit for the Leukemia Lymphoma Society, and we decided to kind of um, be in character. We play, We dressed up like 70s New York salseros and we pretended that we were them and, and did a whole set of their music that was fun <laughs> well which is awesome because if people don't know what fania records was you know yeah yeah that song um that we just did la murga yes from fania fania records it's a record label so like if you think motown or stacks it's kind of it's like that for latinos we love well and also you guys until tonight or later on tonight you are doing something special on your facebook page in regard to carnival Oh yeah, that's right. So if you go to if you go to Mills Records, you can uh, enter to win a bridge vinyl yeah. that's been autographed by Thank us. Thank you for that, by the way. Yeah, of course. And, uh, <laughs> making and movies is featured on that vinyl. Yeah. Um, so th- so yeah, making the pendulum swing that we did here in live in studio um, is on that vinyl, and and then uh, you can win two tickets to Carnaval. All you have to do is just go to Mills Records and enter to win. That's awesome. All right, cool. Well, can we get one more song from you guys? Yeah, I, I think we. I decided to, to do something different. So nice. Um, I wrote a song that we were trying to put on the record, but it just wasn't ready. And I just think it came out of watching the news with um, all the things that have happened this year, both in Ferguson, Baltimore, and Carolina, and and it seems like there's a this this violent. Um, I don't know if it's a pattern. I don't know what the right word is. A, a virus a epidemic. I don't. I don't know what to call it. But it seems like it's continuing over and over. And, and I wrote this song, I showed the band last night, actually before Juan Carlos showed up to practice, 
But um, but this is the first time that we'll, we've ever really played it, and that, I, I, I actually don't think they're even going to really sit in with me on it because it's so new. But I think I'm going to do something special because I just feel like it's something that, that should be played right now. Please go for it. If anything I did was wrong, don't judge me now. For centuries, far too long, they taught us to drown. We came undone. Well, a broken man can't understand, just eats a cattle call. So we're up in arms, please understand, there's nowhere to fall. And no religion When every city is a border state Carolina and the seeds of hate The end must not be far away We've been eating all our words again We've been dreaming of these mortal sins The end must not be far away Since I've been gone, heard the awful sound. Riot squad and funeral drums trying to keep us down. We came undone. So we're up in arms. Please understand, there's nowhere to run, there's no religion. When every city is a border state, Carolina and the seats of hate, the end was not before away. I've been eating all my words again. I've been dreaming of some mortal sins, the end was not before away. When all my heroes, they died young. The blood spilled dried in the sun You saw my heroes died young These cities are trenches, these ghettos are prisons When every city is a border state Carolina and the seats of hate The end must not be far away so far away I hope she's not so far away all oh, my heroes died young but she's not so far away absolutely gorgeous Thank you, Thank guys. You. Again, if you're just tuning in, we've got Making Movies in Studio, uh, preparing for the second annual carnival tonight, or sorry, the Saturday night out at Knuckleheads. And uh, you guys, I know you've come in several times now, and thank you. We appreciate it every single time. It's always, always a pleasure. If you want to get some more information, you can get that at makingmovies.com, but it's just take out all the uh, vowels, so M-K-N-G-M-V-S.com. We're, we're easy to Google, Making That's, Movies yeah, Kansas City or <laughs> Making Movies Band, and Google figures it I out. I love that website. Just put in Making Movies, and you're going to find it. Um, and then you can get more information as well at bridge909.org. But you guys, thank you again. We really look forward to that new album. We're waiting, bated breath. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Not a problem. Again, we've had Making Movies on the Bridge. <laughs>